the tops drop, of course, that's legendary, man. It's your boy, Mr. Steve-O, a.k.a. Mr. Outstanding, and Street Beats is on your radio tonight. You already know, holding it down all the way till 10 p.m., baby. Doing it big and doing it live, man. I told y'all it's about that time for my Street Beats, my Spotlight, one-on-one -on -one interview, though, man, in studio. That's right, man. I got Dirty Third Records' very own Jalen Boy. What's up with it, dog? <laughs> That's what's up with it. That's all he got to say, baby. You know how we go down, no, no. Hey, I also got my boy, Fighting Tech Zaggy, quarterback Gerard Johnson. He in the building, holding it down, man. We doing it big, doing it live, though, man. Of course, Street Beats is on your radio. Remember, you can catch us right here every Sunday night from 8 to 10 p.m., man. Now, this is how we doing it, Charlie. Man, we're doing it especially tonight for all the mothers out there, though, man. It's a Mother's Day, of course. I want to wish all the mothers out there a happy Mother's Day, though, man. Now, check this out. We've been uh, getting questions from some of the listeners out there, though. I got a question from Maya, though, man. And this is basically one of the questions, though, that you've probably been asked a thousand times, though, man. But she wanted to know how it started, where it started, though, man. How you came up in the game real quick, though, baby. Right, it started, you know, as a little child. My mama, uh, Mary Lee Robinson Williams, Williams, Williams Grill. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She raised me. She uh she taught me everything I know. Started up in the church, Holy Missionary Baptist Church. Since then, you know, I was just uh singing and then I came along uh Dirty Third Records, B Nord, you know what I'm saying, and DJ Bull. They heard my little challenge and they uh they put me on and since then we've been doing it. So I've been in the game rapping officially for going on ten years. I started in now. And OT in two ten, I'll be in uh it'll be ten, ten years. Ten so years, man. I've been in it since two thousand and it's been productive, it's been moving on, and I'm just blessed to be here. And I re I remember when y'all came out at Dirty Third Records though, man. Um the Freestyle Kings though mm -hmm. came out though, because that was back when uh DJ Screw was still uh all his mixtapes were coming up. We were going out yeah. to Bulls and stuff though out there. Screw uh Switcher House was barely out there though too. They were they were putting making a name for themselves though. Yeah. And then I see Dirty Third Records out there and I'm sitting here like who the hell are these dudes right here, though? So I'm picking up a Dirty Third record tape, and they said, you know what? I, I, ain't gonna lie. I, I was a Swisher House head. I was, I'm a big screw head. Everybody know that, though. But I stopped buying Swisher House. I'm, I went to, flipped over to Dirty Third Records on Man Charlie Boy. Y'all yeah, were doing it big. Y'all were doing it big and doing it live back then. That was 01, 2000, 2001. I guess, yeah, you're right. You're right. The time frame right, though, man. So I guess... Uh, when you got you and DJ Boom met though, man, I guess how was the meeting though? I guess you said you gave him a, a, a mixtape, man. Nah, honestly, uh, my my partner, uh, B Nord, he had uh, DJ Boom's hip hop shop going on, and uh, right by the mattress factory. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. By smoking Joe. Yeah, by smoking Joe's. Uh, he he knew that I could sing, so he told Boom that you know hey, I got this cat that can sing. So I mean, it was a misunderstanding, yeah, miscommunication yeah. at first. So when I went down to see him. They were busy working on some music, and so it was like, man, who is this dude? Because yeah. the word didn't really get to him. So, I mean, he heard what I, I could do, and he was like, man, this cat got something on him. And I got I jumped on a couple of mixtapes. The first one I got on was uh, No no Old Boy. Yeah, the No Old Boy. Yeah, 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 you know, and it started off then, and uh, I've been on since then, man. It's just been a... a now, up to date, though, though man. man, up to this day, though, man, how many, about how many mixtapes... That you know of, though. I know you probably on mixtapes, uh, you know, all around the state of Texas, all around the South, though, man. And you probably don't even know that a Charlie Boy track on, though, man. You know how it go down, though. But as far as you know, up to this day, how many mixtapes you think you got out there, though, man? Or you on, though, that I, you know of? I'm 250, 300 plus. Woo! Woo! So, I mean, hey, Charlie Boy everywhere. That's how it go down. Nah, Charlie Boy. Brian gotta get it. That's, man. hey, that's what it is, though. You don't work, you don't eat. No, Charlie Boy on his grind, though. Right now, we're about to get in to his hot single. Charlie Boy, why don't you go ahead and introduce it, baby? We're finna uh, get into my single. It's called I Look Good because that's what we do. Brian's here. You get it? Got it? Good. That's right, I baby. I look good right about now. <laughs> it's going down right here. Street Beats is on your radio. Charlie Boy, I Look Good. Street Beats on 1019. Don't be. On my mama, on my hood, I look good. 